If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to some 6 o'clock content. And uh, I've heard rumors of what we can expect today, but uh, without any further ado, let's find out what we actually have rather than listen to silly rumors, shall we? Um, there he is. There's, there's the guy. Now, that's interesting as well. Acuna. Now, it's a shame that he's actually a left wing, not a left back. Only one requirement on him. There is a footmas challenge as well. Hallelujah. Prime mixed players. No loan for Marcus Acuna. It does... It, it's really confusing why some players have loans and others don't. So, he has an inform, I think it's 84 rated, uh, links with a couple of uh, decent players. And his price spiked recently because of um, a few SBCs. This may be on the expensive side. It is such a well-rounded card. If you're looking for a super sub, and, I mean, look at the state of that. You could literally play it anyway. It doesn't, like, you could... If you give him um, a hunter, you could even play him as a striker. You could play him as a centre back. You could play him as a left back, a centre mid, a CDM. It is the most well-rounded card I think I've ever seen. In um, well, not ever, but in FIFA, in FIFA 20 for sure, right? So that, to me, that has to be a fair a fair price because it's it's a card that anyone can do and anyone can pop on the bench. So I, if this is an 84, I, I, I would be happy with that. I think that would be worth it. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Okay, that's brilliant value. Um, two informs, sure, that might add. Well, it's definitely going to add to the value, but um, to the cost, rather. But the 83-rated team is fantastic. That is such a good SBC. Big fan of that, which could only mean one thing. This is going to be massively overpriced. It's got a dynamic image as well. So everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people... Most people used the 81 Sissoko for the longest time. Now he has an upgrade. I'm, I'm pretty sure within the realms of affordability, if this isn't through the roof expensive, I would imagine that everyone will do this. I would like to know before I even look at the price, though. I'd like to know how much of an improvement it is over the over the base card right so we have the base here and there we go there's the upgrade so to be fair it's gone up by three overall of course the base is an 81 so you'll see like the pluses next to the next to the figures there so you've got two in acceleration three in sprint speed four shot power three long shots three finishing four positioning short passing's up by five visions up by four the physicals are up by two and three the defensive stats up by two and three and the dribbling up by two or three as well so it's a it's a re reasonably good upgrade i would say i mean it could have been a little bit better uh, in terms of the boost it could have been a slightly better hero there like composure could have gone up to 80 um but yeah i mean to be honest apart from the composure going up a little bit more i would say that that is a pretty damn good card question how much is it that's that's the uh it's the long and short of it isn't it that is the long and short of it two requirements i'd be very happy if this was like 280 well, I don't know, 284s, is that too much? Maybe 283s? Oh, jeez. Oh, my God, that is expensive. That is so expensive. 286s. That's what, 200 and something thousand coins. I mean, that's not... Just because I'm saying it's expensive doesn't, doesn't mean I'm saying it's not worth it. But it is very pricey. I was actually expecting EA to drop a semi-affordable... Sissoko SBC. I don't know why. I thought we would get, um, you know, like 284s, maybe an 83 and an 84, a couple of informs, some harsh requirements with some high chem to make you buy certain players. But I, I didn't expect, I didn't expect that. I mean, that that's expensive. There's no informs or anything, and the chem is low. Small rare gold players pack isn't a terrible pack to get. It's like 25k. The prime mixed players pack is horrendous. But um, not sure how I feel about that, if I'm honest. Uh, we've got the Footmas Challenge pack, which is a prime mixed players pack. I will complete it, but I'm not that bothered by it. What um, what else have we got, if anything? Uh, no, we didn't get anything else, which 
isn't really a surprise to me. I'm, I'm sure they can't just keep giving us Road to the Final cards, although there are a lot of teams left that they could easily give Road to the Final cards to that they haven't given cards to yet. Uh, any new leagues? I was kind of hoping that we would get the, the Premier League or the Spanish League today, um, or at some point, but no, we've not been given any of those. No new advanced SBCs, obviously no new upgrades. Any new orb objectives? Uh, no, Rusalon is still there, of course, and no, that's it. So any new milestones? No. So we've been given a couple of Footmas SBCs and the pack. Now, I am going to complete Acuna because he's fantastic value. I would like to judge this Sissoko by just going to have a look at some solutions and comparing him to a few other cards around the place to see what their price is because I'm on the fence with this one it's expensive but because he's so overpowered and meta it could actually be worth it so that is Acuna done and uh, I'm, I'm just sort of trying to gauge the reaction it's very split down the middle with regards to this Acuna card it's only really cost me about 10k I bought Pepe bought Luke Shaw had everything else in the club and I'm more than happy to submit that away for a card that you can literally use anyway. Uh, to have that on the bench will be so handy. Like in certain situations, you're like, oh, I wish I brought that guy with me. Or I wish I had that guy. It doesn't matter because now you have him. Because he, this guy can do everything. I, I really like him. And he links to um, a fair, fair few uh, decent cards as well. If you've done any of the, you know, like, uh, what's his name? Gedson Fernandez or anything like that. Um, that You can link all them in together. There are quite a few decent Portuguese league cards out there as well so yeah not bad um, shame again about the uh, the animation from the the, the opening but uh, Sissoko is currently coming in at around 263,000 coins which if you want my opinion is overpriced and EA know what they're doing with it because they know that people will still go out and do this it will drain people's accounts big time to complete that I was going to complete it but um, I, honestly, even for as, as, well as, as well as I know EA, I didn't expect them to, to price it that highly. I can kind of understand why they've... Well, I can definitely understand why they've done it. They didn't want everyone running around with a Footmas um, Sissoko. It's a good card, but if you just look at it right, and ignore the player, ignore the name, ignore the rep that goes with him, if you just look at it from pure stats, it's not that great. Um, agility and balance is poor. Defensive awareness isn't that great. The composure isn't that good. The stats that he does have that are good, so for instance, the stand tackle, the slide tackle, it's it's okay, but if I said to you, oh, you've got to pay 260,000 coins for this card, you'd be like, oh, actually, yeah, I can get a much better, you know, there are, there are icons out there, base icons better than this um, on paper for the same price. So, you know, I, I can understand why people would want to do it. I really can because of how overpowered the 81 is just makes sense that this would be better but for 260,000 you need to make sure that you love that card otherwise this is just going to be dead weight in a few weeks because you know bear, bear in mind he's 84 rated it, it ain't going up it's untradeable the packs aren't great one of them is okay the other one isn't that great um and then of course team of the year and whatever other promo they bring out will come out will he still be usable in your team then gotta ask yourself a question um, I'm not on the fence with it. I know what I think. I think it's overpriced. But if you think it's value, then hey, get it done. Who am I to tell you otherwise? Footmas Challenge. I'm hoping this is going to be cheap because the pack isn't exactly great. 74 rated team and 5 gold players. <laughs> 5 gold rings.
So there we go, bang on, 74 rated. I used a load of uh, League One silvers that I had and then just filled the rest with uh, Argentine players and we can pick up our Prime Mixed Players Pack. I don't really think that's a great pack at all. If you've got random silvers in your club that don't sell for anything from an off league or whatever, then yeah, feel free to indulge and, and why not? But to be honest, I should have opened a bronze pack first. This is going to lag. To be honest, I, I just don't really, I don't rate that pack. I mean, you know, you might open it and get Neymar. Who knows? But um, I didn't get anything then, unfortunately. And, uh, okay, hello. Sassuolo centre-back is worth 1,000 coins. MLS left-back is worth about 400 coins. Got a Union Berlin striker who's worth about 5k, 4 5k, which is class. And, uh, and then we got Wesley in there as well, which I think sells for about, a th yeah, about 900 coins. So, actually, that pack for me was worth it. So, yeah, if you do League SBC, you'll probably want to do that pack because I've got three League SBC Silvers in there, all of which sell, and that Union Berlin striker in particular is very valuable, to the point where I'm actually going to just list him up for 5k. I don't do League SBC on this account, so we'll just list him up and job done. Away we go. But um, that's going to do it for today's content. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'll be very interested. Just double-check to see if there wasn't anything added at a later time. No, there wasn't. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think Sissoko is worth it or not? Um, like I said, personally, I think, for me at least, it's a little bit on the overpriced side. But um, I do I do really like that Acuna, and I would imagine you could see a review or expect a review from me either later tonight or tomorrow. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have done, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.